Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to connect to GitHub and upload the files, your project files from your Android studio. So let's begin. So you create a new project. I name this as GitHub Connection Demo. You can name this anything, it doesn't matter, of course. I'll just show how to connect and then upload sample files of the project folder on the GitHub. So this environment may take a time uh, take a while to create in the meantime what i'll do is i'll go to my github.com login and then i'll create a new repository probably i'll give it some name demo repo and i'll li leave it public so it's easy to access although we'll have to create a token to uh, connect but yeah rest of things i'll leave it as it is and just click on create so by default this page will come up and create a new file or upload an existing file click on data talk. so this so all the details are given over here like the connection string and all so we'll come back to come to this one again let me go to my android studio so the yeah, environment is set up and of course whatever files you can do in this app but i'll just focus on the version control part and create Git repository, click on this, it will ask to select a folder, just click OK and it will create by default a local Git repository in that particular same folder where your app is created. So probably I can quickly show you, so I am bringing this folder up where my app is created, so this .git file and all gets created because it's a local repository. Now the question is how to connect to the uh, this repository to the remote repository but before that I'll do one quick thing I just do a commit of all the files or whatever just know it's unversion files in my local repository at least let's say first commit you can name this anything it doesn't matter and so it may take a while to commit but this commit is happening in the local repository which is uh, residing on my this particular folder over here it's in this .git file so we after once this is done we'll okay for now i'll just ignore and do a commit commit yeah so at least my files are committed yeah so no, now once it's done i'll quickly show you how you can do it for remote also so you can go here again on push if you click it will give you an option to define the remote remote is basically the yeah the uh, other not a local uh, repository so once you click here then you can go to your uh, github and then copy this this is the https url come back click ok and let's see yeah it came up and it's, it will push the master this one master branch to the master branch in the repository so just click push and let's see what it happens so it seems like the message scheme is pushed. So if I go here and see, just push here, okay. And I get all the options of checkout and all. That's fine. I'll go back to my repository here quickly. Uh, try to refresh and see in the masters. There's only master branch, there's no main branch, of course. So all my first commit has come up. So if I go inside here, yeah, this is just the first file. It will be nothing much, but at least you can see the my file name, which is basically the GitHub connection demo. So that's the same file which if I go here, that's over there. GitHub connection demo. I mean actually dot Java file is there. So that's all I wanted to show you. So the steps are simple. You go to your Android studio. From here you can first do a check-in or commit to the local and then from push or here you can define the remote and then you can push it to the uh, remote repository wherever you have created it in the github so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day